Hello everybody! Today I'm going to bring you guys my February favorite. I am so hungry right now, so without further ado, I'm gonna jump right into it because I want to make this fast so I can put it. First and foremost, I'm pretty sure everyone has already heard about my hair tragedy. I think it was about roughly three weeks ago, I would say more or less, and um, I went to this hair salon and got my hair effed. So I ended up with really fried, damaged hair. And a lot of you wanted to know what I did to kind of try to salvage it. I'm not going to go into too much detail because I want to make a separate video on that. But I will tell you guys the one product that really made a huge difference in the texture of my hair from being very stringy and very mushy to somewhat less stringy and less mushy. And that would be the Afoji two-step treatment comes with two little bottles. The first one is the treatment, the second one is the conditioner. What you do is you wet your hair and you apply this onto your damp hair. It turns very, very hard and this stuff literally dries into your hair. And what this is, it's a two-step protein treatment. So when you're drying your hair, the protein is actually being dried into your hair. After that, you hop in the shower, you rinse out the protein, and then you apply this conditioner onto your hair to restore softness and manageability. Now that's what it claims. But to be honest with you, I think you only need this one. This is the thing that makes the difference. This doesn't really do too much for me. You can use any um, hydrating conditioner in my opinion and it would do the same thing. This is the stuff that made the biggest difference in my hair. After I got my hair done at the salon, it was so over bleached that it was literally falling in chunks and it was very very mushy and stringy and it was string when you pull it. After I used this one time, it was a lot better. Now, um, you don't want to use it too many times because if you use too much protein in your hair, it could cause your hair to be brittle and that could cause your hair to snap off even more. So it's really something you have to be very careful about. You don't want too much protein and you don't want too little protein. So keep in mind. February was the month that I literally just tried 10,000 different lip things because I felt the need to for some reason. Normally I don't really buy lip products because I don't really like wearing lip products. I like to eat a lot. When I'm at work, I have a lot of downtime so I eat and eat and eat. <laughs> so I don't really like wearing a lot of lip stuff because it gets sticky and food will get stuck on my lips. But for some reason in February, I decided it was time for me to buy a thousand lip things. So I'm going to show you guys the ones that I actually liked. Now keep in mind, all of these items are very, very affordable because I am very poor. <laughs> so I don't want to spend a lot of money on expensive makeup that I'm not going to wear a whole lot. Knowing the person that I am, I own a lot of makeup, but I don't really wear a lot of makeup. If you watch my vlogs, you can tell that I don't really wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis just because I am a lazy person and I also don't like to feel like there's makeup on my skin. So with that said, all of these items will be very affordable. So if you wanted to try out these products, you won't hurt your wallet. The first couple of things I wanted to mention have been a reoccurring favorite for me and that would be the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Lip Color. And here I've got five of them. If, if I got five of them, you can really tell how much I love them, right? <laughs> First of all, they're very long lasting. Second of all, they're super pigmented. Third of all, you can eat, you can kiss, and they will not transfer. And those are the things that I look for in a lip product. Because for me, I don't really like reapplying things because of my lazy nature. And if I'm gonna wear a lip color, I want it to stay all day long. And these will stay all day long. Now, if you don't like matte lip products that kind of feel drying on your lips, you won't like these because on the downside, they are a little drying, but because of that, they last all day long. For me, I don't really care about it because it's not drying to the point that I feel like it's cracking or anything. It's just a very, very matte finish that kind of feels a little bit drier, but to me, it's okay. These are around 2 to $3 a pop. 
which is very, very affordable. So if you wanted to try them out, they would not hurt your wallet. And trust me, you won't regret it. If you're someone that likes long-lasting color, transfer proof, and vibrant pigmentation, then please go out and get these and try them out for yourself because you will love them too. LA Girl Glazed Lip Paint. This color is called Whisper and it's just a very pretty nude. I love wearing this because one, it's pigmented. Two, it's not too sticky. Three, it dries down to a satin finish, which I really enjoy. It's very lightweight on the lips and you don't need a lot for color pigmentation to show. And also, it is slightly minty, so I do enjoy that a lot. I love anything that has a minty smell or scent. L'Oreal Color Riche in 181 Sheer Linen. And it's also another nude lippy. This one is very sheer, like the name suggests. And I like this one because it's good for an everyday wear. And I just like popping it on. You don't need a mirror. And it's very hydrating. So I love that one a lot. This was sent to me by a company called Makeup Glam Store. They sell some high-end stuff like Urban Decay and um, drugstore stuff as well. A lot of the Urban Decay stuff is from a few years ago. So if you're looking for palettes or um, foundation that are discontinued and no longer being sold on the Urban Decay website, you can definitely hop on over to their site and find a bunch of stuff there that are at a discounted value. If you spend $30 or more on the site, you can use 15 the number OFF as a code for 15% off. So that's a pretty good deal. Speaking of Urban Decay, I also got this Urban Decay Mariposa palette from that site. It comes with 10 shadows, all of which are very pigmented and very easy to wear. They, they're they all kind of satin finish. I'm doing a tutorial with some of these colors for a spring look, so stay tuned for that. And there's really nothing much more to say about the Urban Decay shadows. We all know how pigmented they are. We all know how buttery smooth they are. And we all know how easy they are to wear on the eyes. So I love this palette a lot. Unfortunately, you can't get this on their website anymore since it is discontinued because it's from a few years ago. But if you wanted to get it, you can still get it on the Makeup Glam Store website and it is being sold at a discounted price as well compared to the original value. The next few things are also sent to me by a company called BoutiqueMonthly.com. They do a monthly subscription service called the Baby Bag. Each month, it is $24, but you get seven to eight full-size items. And a lot of these brands are Asian brands, which is really cool because you get to try out things from overseas that you don't get to try out in the United States. I would say that I prefer the Asian brands over American brands anyway, because I think they work better in my personal opinion. And in this month's bag, it came with a small little pouch and I got seven items and out of which um, I loved two of them the most. If you want to know what comes in this month's bag, you can definitely go to their website and um, it is boutiquemonthly.com. I don't want to go into all the items in the bag because I didn't love them all, but I will show you guys the two things that I really, really enjoy. Massage cream by The Face Shop, and this one is in the cucumber scent. It's a very, very thick cream, and what you do with this is that you massage it into your face before you wash your face, and once you massage it in for a good three to five minutes, um, you wash it off, and this really, really hydrates the skin. After I use this massage cream, my face feels very, very supple, and it just feels like all the moisture is sucked into my skin, and it feels very, very nice. And not to mention, the smell is very, very refreshing. The next thing that I loved a lot was this um, moisture toner, and this is by the face shop as well and this is the rice ceramide moisture toner it's in conjunction with this two of my favorites for this month because my skin just feels so moisturized after using them and it feels so so nice um, I noticed that makeup goes on better when your face is more moisturized and you produce less oil so who doesn't love that right Again, if you're interested in any of these products that I mentioned from the um, BB bag, I will list their link below and you can check them out. 
Another thing I really enjoyed in the month of February was this set. It was sent to me by February.com and it's a two-piece set with a crop top and a pencil skirt. I had to take in the skirt a little bit because it was too big but after I took it in it was perfect. And for my birthday I changed the top into a corset for a more sexy look and here you can see how that looks. Also, I took this little guy with me up to NorCal for my birthday weekend because it's very convenient. It's by Scentbird and it's filled with Marc Jacobs Daisy Oh So Fresh. It smells super amazing and extra fresh. <laughs> Well, that about wraps it up for my February favorites. It was a lot of stuff, a lot of things I tried this month. Um, I actually tried a lot more things this month, but I didn't want to include everything because that would just be way too long of a video. Hopefully you guys found this video somewhat interesting to watch. And if you're interested in any of the items that I have mentioned, I will list all of their info down below for you to check out. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and follow me on my Instagram because there you will see more pictures and daily updates. That's the fastest way to get through to me as well because I check Instagram almost like every 10 minutes because I'm antsy at work. It is at LazyBombTotBeauty for Instagram so follow me there for more frequent updates. And again, thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for my next video. I will be using the Mariposa palette to show you guys how to do a very soft spring smoky eye for the springtime.